Good morning, and welcome to uh, Internet Fellowship and um, another the third the third day of uh, January, and I'm going to read a little encouragement for us. It should be encouragement every day. We should look and think about God every day. Will everybody do that? It's my best prayer, but I'm not sure everybody does. Uh, they may say they do, but only they and God know really if they have or not. But anyway, here's uh, some encouraging words for us. The words say this, Refresh yourself in the peace of my presence. This peace can be your portion at all times and in all circumstances. Praise God and thank you, Jesus. If everybody believed that, it would be a different world. Learn to hide in the secret of my presence, even as you carry out your duties in the world. Because he knows we have duties. He gave them to us. And we got to do them. And he knows that. But we can still do them and be thinking about him and asking for his help. I am both with you and within you. I go before you to open up the way. And I also walk alongside you. There could never be another companion as devoted as I am. Praise God and thank you, Jesus. Because I am your constant companion, there should be a lightness to your step that is observable to others. Do not be weighed down with problems and unresolved issues. Praise God. That's what I need to work on. For I am your burden bearer. In the world, you have trials and distress. But don't let them get you down. I have conquered the world and deprived it of power to harm you. In me, you may have confident peace. He always said that whenever he met his disciples or people or, you know, wherever he went. He said, peace be with you. My peace I give you. Peace. In, in the Lord, we have peace. Praise God. And Bible support for these words comes from Psalm 31, verses 19 through 20, and John 16, verse 33. Now you can go to your Bibles, read those passages, and maybe the Lord will give you some other inspiration. But when somebody read those, this is the inspiration that came out. Praise God. All right, have a great day. I'm going to try to uh, get some... Start, as I said yesterday, I'm going to try to start a little Bible study here. And it's uh, going to be, you know, a lot, probably a lot different than I've been to a few. And we have a Bible study with Mark Conrad on Wednesday nights here. And uh, I know my brother uh, in Providence, he studies and listens to the to, uh, the, to uh, Bible every day. And uh, I'm going to start something a little different. And I think... Uh, you know, the Bible is the truth and the way. But I think we, uh, you know, and it points us to one place. The whole, from beginning to end, it only takes us to one place. And that is to the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And that's where we need to end up. Not stuck in the Bible trying to figure it out. But living today, right now, with the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So I'm going to try to study the Bible in bits and pieces, maybe, what people will call it. And they may say, well, that's not the way to study it. Well, that's their opinion. I say the Bible takes you to Jesus. Once you arrive at Jesus, although the Bible is still a wonderful book and everything, you have Jesus. What else do you need? people in Jesus' day when he was in human form here. They didn't have Bibles. Right? They, 
had some writings maybe, but they just lived with them. Okay. Moses didn't <laughs> to open a Bible and say, well, what do I do on the Red Sea problem here? He just had to look up and say, the Lord already told him what to do. Lift your staff up and watch the power of my power work. And you know, that it can be done in this world, in this realm today. But it's one prerequisite, a big one. You have to believe. 100%. Moses believed 100%. Now, he had already, God had came to him and revealed himself to Moses. So Moses knew God was real. Paul, same way. And others throughout the Bible. They were talking to God, <laughs> and they knew they were talking to God. The ones that didn't were skeptical, wanted to trick them, figured they were whacked, crazy, but they weren't. They were just carrying out what God wanted them to carry out. Praise God they did. Thank, thank God Jesus took uh, his job all the way to the end. If he didn't, we would have no way back into the garden, no way back to God. And I find too many people today think, well, you know, I'll get there, don't worry. You know, I don't have to worry. But, you know, I think they, they need to have a little concern there. <laughs> hey. All right. Have a great day, and uh, again, spend time thinking about the Lord today. And um, I, I'm, I've still got my, I'm going to leave my Christmas tree up year-round now, and I will sing happy birthday to Jesus every day. So I know, because the world really doesn't know that we celebrate it on the 25th of December. But people do not know the exact day Jesus was born. I don't think you can find out religious person, priest, rabbi, minister, whoever can tell you that Jesus was born specifically on this day. There's so much difference, controversy on that one. So I figure, hey, I'll sing happy birthday every day. So in the 365 happy birthdays I'll sing, I know I'm going to sing I want, want the right one. I may not, work, not know what it is, but that's okay. He knows my heart. He knows I, I love him. I know he loves me because he told me. So what more do I have to worry about? I have to worry about being a good example for others and trying to help draw others to him. So read your Bible, go to church, support your pastors, think about God, pray every day. Okay? You can pray, it can be anything. Prayer can be just saying nothing. It's just sitting down and saying, Lord, I'm sitting with you. And he would really like that. Because one of the things, first things I'm going to talk about is, there's a, there's a saying in the Bible that says, Be still and know that I am God. And if you want to try to find that passage, you can go on the Internet, and they have all kinds of you know, Bible sites, and it says, you know, type in the passage and we'll show you where it is in the Bible. Look it up. Be still and know that I am God. It's in there. Find it. That'll be a challenge <laughs> on the first one. Praise God. Have a great day. Peace. Bye-bye now.